welcome Shankara TV viewers and greetings to you all. Now the episode starts that is the episode of the power of positive thinking. This subject has found favor with lots of people I have come across. And this subject, the power of positive thinking, is gaining momentum. There are many doubts, clarifications which persist in the mind of human beings about this subject. Whether this power that is of positive thinking is really a power or is it just a fiction? Is it just a pseudoscience and a poetic imagination of those psychologists and scientists to give some food for the varied human thoughts? Is it just an entertainment to take people to some other planes, to some other levels of thinking? Or is it really a science that is going to give positive results or the results and success which we as human beings aim for right from our childhood to our retirement stages and even thereafter. Whether the positive thinking has the power to propel human beings to their desired results. In other words, whether there is something called positive thinking and if so, if positive thinking is there, whether it has some power to guide us, navigate us to our desired ends. Well, viewers, I am of the very firm op opinion that this field, this subject, the power of positive thinking is really a science. It is really a science in the context of my experience, my research that has gone into it. More so ever, I rely on this especially after the advancement of something called quantum physics which most of you know. Quantum to put it in a very simple word means micro 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 level. Smallest of the smallest of the smallest level of an atom, the part of an atom, subatomic, atomic, atomic which physicists call in their new coinage as quantum physics. We live in normal level of realities whereas there is something called a quantum level which is the minutest part of an atom, an atom to an atom, subatomic atomic particles. For example, recently they have found out, they have inferred the existence of Higgs boson which is, which probably lives for a ten thousandth of a trillionth of a second. What is a trillion? thousand billion makes one trillion and what is a billion hundred crores so hundred thousand thousand means one lakh crores and that you divide ten thousand ten thousandth part of something like one lakh crores of a second you can't imagine all those uh, fields you can't imagine those subatomic particles but that is the minutest detail they have ventured into and because of this advancement of quantum physics because of the advancement of medical sciences, especially neurology, where elect, especially the brain science, the brain, especially after the arrival of electron scanners, which scans a billion, that is a billion is I told you is 100 crores, a billion pixels per second, it scans. Advancement made in all these fields would definitely lead the viewers to the irresistible, unequivocal conclusion that this 
positive thinking produces the results and positive thoughts has the power. I have no doubts about this and I guarantee success right from 1% to 100% depending on the intensity you have the faith in this power. Have faith in yourselves and stand up on that faith, said Swami Vivekananda. And even your own God, if you have faith in Him, the power of that God depends on the power of your faith on Him, your Ishta Daivata. The power of the Ishta Daivata depends on the power of yours, your power on Him, your power of faith on Him. So everything we have to have faith. Therefore, I am of the very clear mind that there is a power to positive thoughts. I am going to take you chapter by chapter wherein it will be dealt extensively and how it is related to these thoughts. Chapter by chapter means quantum physics, medical sciences, especially the brain science, neurology. Then I am going to go into the practical psychology, the psychiatry, the Vedic and the Upanishad concepts which had already stated about this positive thinking. Rig Veda says, Ano Badraha Kritavo Yantu Vishwataha. The other Upanishads, like Taitriya Upanishad says, Mano Brahme Divyajanat Manasadhyay Vakal Vimani Bhuta Nijayante. Same, some of these words you can also find in Chandogya Upanishads. We shall go into Upanishads, the Vedic concepts also. And then I will come to the practical on-field results, experiments done. The practical fields where we experience day by day. Then I shall take the viewers to how to prevent negative thoughts first. Lay the bed for a positive thought, just like a farmer prepares his field, tilling the field, weeding out the negative thoughts and then applies the fertilizers and then applies the seeds and then waters. So how to prevent those negative thoughts and lay the field for positive thoughts to grow. And then I would go into another chapter to tell the viewers how to develop positive thoughts.